Now differentiating y equals a to the kx is a little bit more fiddly. Okay? What we're going to do is we are going to take logarithms of both sides. We're going to take natural logarithm of both sides. And so we would have the natural logarithm of y is equal to the natural logarithm of a to the kx. Now what we can then do is using our log laws knowledge bring the kx down to the front of that log. So ln of y is equal to kx times ln of a. I now use, so I think probably what would be best is if I reorder that first. So ln of y is k ln of a x. Okay? So I now use um, implicit differentiation, okay, later on in the section. So I implicitly differentiate the left-hand side with respect to x, and I get 1 over y dy by dx. The right-hand side will just be k ln of a. The x would have gone. I can then multiply both sides by y, so k ln a times y. Now y was just a to the kx. So dy by dx is k ln a times a to the kx. Okay? So that is the gradient function of a to the kx using implicit differentiation.